All right, here's the Volt trainer made by Jet Black. And the blue indicator here is what uh, you can use to monitor the status, power updates, and also connections. Right now I'm using, it's Bluetooth and N plus compatible. I'm using a dongle that is N plus. That cable goes to a computer that is right there. It's an older computer to 2014. New case though, I just got it this year. I'm using a flashlight so you can see all the hardware inside, so it gives you an idea. I'm using a 760 video card that is uh, 4K compatible. You can see the connections at the back. So I have an extension for the N plus. Excuse me. And I'm using an HDMI connection right here. That cable goes to the back, the back of the TV right here. And when I'm logged on with the computer, it looks like this. Oh, I forgot to mention to you. I have uh, on the header, I have a Bluetooth uh, dongle and a Logitech dongle that works with the wireless key a keyboard that is there. And this keyboard is compatible with um, Uh, also with a mouse. Oops. Okay, so you can see the activities going on. So I installed Zoom, Zwift. I installed uh, TACX. And that's what TACX looks like. Now the problems I was having with TACX is... And when you go to the chain link over here... It was not showing me my trainer was not showing me my heart rate sensor, which is on my watch right now. It's, uh, is it sleeping? No, it's not sleeping. It's awake. Let's see if I can get to the report on the zoom, on the focus. Here we go, we're back on the screen. So what was happening is, as you can see right now on the right hand side, it says that it's, it's showing disconnect as a caption, that means it's connected. See, what's happening is that when it's searching, it does not connect. When you stop the search, it starts to connect with your devices. And voila. And then you have results at the top. Even before that problem, I had no FEC trainer showing and no heart rate sensor showing either. And to make this work, I had to go, I can't find my device. And when I went there, it sent me to the internet site to download uh, a C++ app. And when that was done, I had to restart the computer. And now it's working.